like sanded it is sent okay s e n t and send is in the past like in the present tense I, we can say i am sending you something and in the past tense we say sent okay so frame the correct sentence and tell me again i have sent you the homework i have sent you the homework sent okay not d okay sent s e n t sent s e n t sent okay so before we, i discuss the homework let's revise what we you know learn, learn tomorrow yesterday sorry learned yesterday okay so what we have learned yesterday uh, part of speech uh, sixth one yeah but what was the name of it preposition preposition or preposition anything you can write preposition what is the preposition preposition is a word that is used before a noun a preposition to so it its relation with with the noun okay okay if i say uh, the score of ritika is beneath the score of radhika what is the preposition here can you repeat the word the score of uh, ritika is beneath the score of radhika what is the preposition here which word is joining the sentences uh, what is the noun here ritika and radhika so which word is joining these two nouns the score of ritika is beneath the score of radhika which word is joining the two sentences which consists noun score of radhika no which word one word tell me one word which is joining the sentences beneath right yes ma'am beneath it um... have you revised the homework i there was written like beneath below under between ah, have you uh, written the sentence of each word No, ma'am, not that one. I have completed that homework. So when will you complete? How many sentences you have written? Ma'am, can you explain me that homework? How to make that? I told you yes. Okay, we will discuss it after the session. Okay. And uh, what else we studied yesterday? Conjunction, right? Yes, ma'am. Conjunction. Conjunction is the word that is used to join the two words or sentences like Ritika and Radhika. Which word is joining the two words? And right. So and will be the conjunction. I am going to school and I am also going to picnic. And. And okay. I am going between between something. So between is joining. So between will be the. Between will be the. conjunction right see only two only two parts of speech are left yesterday i taught you and one more we discussed what is preposition and conjunction are very similar and which one was the other conjunction preposition and interjection interjection means exclamatory ma exclamatory sentences wow what a nice car what is interjection here wow right Hurray! We are going for a picnic. What is interjection here? Hurrays. Hurray! Okay, fine. So write down the definition of to open a new uh, on a new page. Okay. Yes, ma'am. New page. Okay. I am sharing my screen so that you don't. But I am sharing my screen. But you will write it fast. Okay. Make it quick. Okay, ma'am. I will make it quick. because if you want to read essay for a long time, then you have to write fast. Okay. Okay, ma'am. Okay, Ritika. Okay, okay. So today you got a lot of homework. Of course. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Okay. Can you see my screen? Yes, ma'am. From where to start? Conjunction. From? Conjunction. C. Conjunction. Uh, first, write on the headline. Write on the red line. Um, how many parts of speech we have discussed? Six, six, right? Only. 
Okay, so what will you number it? Seven. Seven. Okay, seven. And you have to write all the five uh, six sentences. Okay. Six. Yeah. So write it fast. One second, I am adjusting my brightness. Yes, right now. A conjunction, okay? Read C and write. T I O N. A conjunction. T I O N मतलब क्या होगा? Shun. Conjunction. Okay? Conjunction. 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 And after this two, I am going to take your test today. Are you prepared for it? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Let's see how much you know. C O N G U N C T I U N. A conjunction is read and write. Okay. Is a W O R D word T H A D word word that is used that is U S. Ma, can you see me? My camera is on or off? Ma'am, I can't see you. You are not. Yeah, yeah. Today I am on phone. That's why. Okay. Right. That is used to join. To G O I M join. Join. To join. W O R. Words or sentences. Words. Or S E N. T E N C E S sentences exam okay example for example what you will you e write short form E G and the two dots yes. in front of example are what called colon right yes ma'am they are called colon first colon C O L O N colon Two and two makes four, right? P W O two A N D and T W O two two and two M A K M A K makes four F O U R four makes four. Second one is Krish. Second one is Krish. Kiran. Kiran is K I K R A N R A N Kiran. Kiran ni to ni hoga. Kiran hoga na. And Karan. Kiran. Kiran is B E A U T I T I F U L. Beautiful, but cruel. But C R U L cruel. They are U E L. Ma'am, what is this right and cruel means uh, beautiful but ugly. No, no, sorry, sorry. Cruel means worse. Lazy. Bura, bura, bura. Bad. Bad. I admire. E D. Admire means to take uh, inspiration from. I admire. Admire means also to like. To like. Or. Rabindra Nath Tagore. Who is Rabindra Nath Tagore? No, I don't know who, who is he. Very good. T. R. बिकॉज पी ई सी ए U S E because he was he W one second wait 
want to minimize your screen. What I need to do, I don't. Is there any option for minimization? I don't think so. I have forgotten. Anyway, continue. Mm, then G. G R. Great. G R E A T. Great. Great. Poet. Poet. P. P. O. E. M. Poem. Like. L. I. G. Like. G. Double. E. G. Double. E. T. A. N. G. A. A. L. Zero. The fourth one is. J. A. L. I. Fast, okay, right fast. A L M A L W A Y S always brush B R U S H brush Y O U your teeth. After A F T E or after a meal a M G A L meal then T H T H O U G Do Do R E R A N I Rani Do Rani is is this T H I S this this yet Y E T yet He write only till five okay yet he is active. E C is active. E is A C not E C. A C T. Ma'am done. Okay. Then write interjection also. This is the last one. Okay. On a new page. Write this on a new page. Seven. Eight. Give an eight. Ha. Okay. And. Interjection. I N T. Injection. Yad kar lena isko. Injection ko interjection. A. G. G. C. Write it correctly, yah. C and write. They point sharing. Interjection. N. N I N T E I J E C. Okay, why it is called as interjection? Why it is called as shun? No, I don't know. I told you now. What is the spelling of it? In the beginning, what are the four words? First. In the ending, ending, ending. इंटरजेक्शन के एंड में कौन से चार वर्ड्स हैं अल्फाबेट टी आई यू एन तो व्हाट विल इट बी कॉल्ड टी आई यू एन क्या होगा शन शन व्हाट हाँ इंटरडक्शन इंटरजेक्शन नॉट इंटरडक्शन इंटरजेक्शन इंटरजेक्शन इज अ इज अ 
W O R D word is a word that T H A is that E X double S E S experience S Q P sudden feeling sudden means achanak S double E L I N G okay write five all five examples E G colon write write it fast and also don't forget to give the exclamation mark what is given after hurray exclamation the mark exclamation mark okay hmm. continue G two colon first one is hurray Hooray! We have won the match. Joy. Yes. H. Don't uh, don't no need to write joy here. But if you want for your reference, you can write. Otherwise, you uh, if you skip that part, that is also okay. Double R. But you write that part in the bracket. H. Hooray! Means I have to write that also, ma'am. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, why it is given? Tell me. Hurray! We have won the match. Hurray! The word is representing joy here. In the next line, there is alas. The old man dies of hunger. Means grief. Means uh, the yeah, sympathy. Okay. In the uh, next sentence, it is hush. The baby is sleeping. Means uh, in silence, you know, we say shh. The baby is sleeping. Like that it is. And the next fourth word, it is hello. How are you? So. Hello, like we say, na someone. We stop the bike and we ask them for address like that. So therefore, in the bracket, it is given as address. And yeah, what Aditi has come back as if Aditi has coming uh, has came back from you Europe or from abroad. So what Aditi has come back? So what is used for surprise? Therefore, uh, yeah, you write what is written in the bracket. But you understood what I said? Yes, ma'am, understood. Okay. Then. And right first okay and then we have completed with the portion of parts of speech The O L, the old old man. N E an old man. The dice is dice of hunger. Of H U N G P R hunger. Then G R. Grief. The P A B Y A B Y baby. The baby is S L double E P I N G sleeping. Silence. Silence. Hello. The fourth one is hello. 
एच ई डब्ल्यू एल ओ हेलो 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 डोंट फॉरगेट टू गिव एक्सक्लेमेशन मार्क यस मैम आई नॉट टू गेट इट वेरी गुड हेलो एच हेलो हाउ आर यू देयर इज अ क्वेश्चन मार्क आफ्टर दैट हाउ आर यू क्वेश्चन मार्क हाउ आर यू क्वेश्चन मार्क address A C K back. A comeback exclamation mark. Done. No, ma'am. I'm writing that S C U R. Surprise. I S M R I S E. Surprise. Ma'am, done. Okay. definition what we wrote of uh, conjunction conjunction a conjunction a conjunction is a word that is used to join words uh, or or mm-hmm. sentences or sentences means a conjunction is a word that is used to join two words radhika and ritika pratiksha and ritika aditi and sakshi any two words apple and mango teacher and scientist okay so what do you understand by this it is a word that is used to join two words or sentences and what are the examples read the first example first one is two and two makes four and okay no no just so which word is joining the two sentences ritika two and two which word is joining and two so which word is joining and and very good underline and underline and next sentence karan number is kiran ki hai na ki aaye k a hoga you want to make it karan k a kar do fir Kiran is beautiful and but cruel. But cruel. Cruel का मतलब क्या बताया? Bad. Lazy, right? No, no. Lazy is not. Lazy is not. Lazy means alas. Cruel means bad. Bad behavior. कोई बच्चा होता है ना naughty. In your class, you might be having students who are very naughty who don't study. So what teachers tell them? They are very cruel. They disturb other girls. No. 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 There is no good or bad. It's just about the behavior. It is just about the behavior. Anyways, what is the sentence? Read. Second sentence. Kevin is beautiful but cruel. मतलब सुंदर है लेकिन what does it mean? But bad. सी सुंदर है पर यू नो नॉटी है तंग करती है. So, which word is joining the sentences here? But, right? So, underline but. Very good. 
you are understanding everything but when i ask you what is conjunction you are blank i think you are finding the words difficult like conjunction interjection am i right yes ma'am you are right you are understanding the examples but you are not able see these are parts of speech and ye grammar ke aise these are the types types of parts of speech you in which you have to remember it there is no other option we cannot simplify it like i know that you understand the sentences also but if i ask you what is a imperative sentence uh, are you able to answer tell me what is an imperative sentence or give me one example of imperative sentence we have learned in a first lecture no right but if i ask you please tell me what is a questionary Uh, no no please tell me what is a requestory sentence tell me example imperative sentence yeah tell me example of it requestory sentence tell me example please give me some food yeah so you know but you don't remember what it is called see you are very smart but you are unable to you know uh, and uh, what should i say memorize the name of it Imper uh, whatever you said it was the example of imperative sentence but i asked you in other way like what is uh, request a sentence so you have to you know build that logic and you have to learn okay ritika yes, ma'am i will learn it okay tomorrow. okay okay next sentence what it is mam i mam what i spell spell i this a d m i r e admire 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 means you want to be like that person admire means uh, you admire your mom right yes ma'am i admire you want to be like your mom you admire your father you want to be like your father your sister admires you radhika admires ritika because she wants to be like you you are her inspiration right yes ma'am yes so you understood the meaning of it Yes, ma'am. I understand, but but what? Shall I repeat again? Yes, ma'am. Admire means to like some, to like someone in a way you we want to become it. We want to become it. Like I also gave you one vocabulary. I will give this word in vocabulary word so that you will remember it. <laughs> yeah. Admire means to be like someone. See, I will give you I. Which uh, Bollywood celebrity you like? Any actress? Any actress? Oh you must be liking, na? Any actress? Which is your favorite TV celebrity or Barbie doll or whatever? What you like? I, I like one prince. Uh, Marvi Dalia is my favorite princess. Who? Marvi Dalia. ब्यूटिफुल राइट यू फाइंड हर ब्यूटिफुल
Admire means you like that person and you want to be like that person. I admire. I admire my mother. Because. 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 Because she is. She take care of me. Because she takes care of. She admire. Okay. Any. Okay. Another sentence. Any other you admire your teacher, your brother, your father, or you admire any like any sentence. Simple. You admire doctor. Anyone you want to be like anyone, na right? Like who is you know uh, smart in you know in your mind? I admire my father. Okay. Okay. Because because he is a he, senior. He he is engineer. Yes, ma'am. Okay, he is an engineer. He is a vowel, right? So you will use an here. On the first day demo lecture, we have studied this, right? What are the vowels, right? Yes, ma'am. We have studied the vowels. Very nice. Okay, so understood the meaning of it? Yes, ma'am. Understood. So we have to okay. Of it. Yeah, continue. You okay? Very good. Continue. Where were we? I admire. Yeah. Mom. Go ahead. Read the sentence. Mom. Spell it if you don't know. Spell it. R A B I N B R A N A T X. Ah. Ah. So group two 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 alphabet. Group two two alphabets. R A R B I N. Sometimes two, sometimes three. Uh, alphabets group it. R A R. R A R B I N B N D R A D R R B I N D R I N T H N A T H R B I N D R N A T H Okay, next word group. I admire my mom. Ha. T A G O R T A G O R T A G T A G O R O R O R E O R. So what will be the full word? Tagore. Tagore. Rabindranath Tagore. Okay, who is he? I don't know. Do you sing? Uh, what is the national anthem? Jana Gana. Jana Gana. So he is a very famous person, and you need to know he wrote the national anthem. Okay, he is the composer of national anthem. And this is a general knowledge question. Every student must know. Okay, any time teacher or anyone can ask you who wrote Jana Gana. Mana. So what will you say? You must not forget this name, okay? Okay, ma'am. Repeat the word. Repeat the name. What is the name? Rabin Rabindranath Tagore. Repeat. Rabindranath Tagore. Ravi ne Rabi hai na B B for ball. Rabindranath. Rabi B B. जब तक नहीं आएगा तब तक आई वोट गो अहेड रिपीट रविंद्रनाथ बी क्यों आ रहा है मुझसे बी नहीं निकल रहा वाई यू कैन कैन नॉट रीड इट इज नॉट हार्ड इट इज बी बी फॉर बॉल यू कैन से बॉल राइट सो वाई यू कैन नॉट से इन दैट वर्ड ट्राई ट्राई टू रिपीट रिपीट Look in the book and repeat, na? Rabindranath. Rabindranath. <laughs> okay, Rabindranath Tagore. Hmm, continue. Because he 
wrote great poem like na janagan not janagan amana g w e e g t a n tan kya hoga group karo j a l a j a l jal jali gitanjali Ah, read read the sentence again. Come on, fast. Poem like Gitanjali. Whole sentence. Hmm? Whole sentence. Whole sentence. Short cut, ah. Huh? Whole sentence. Gitanjali. Read the whole sentence. Whole sentence. Mom, whole. Yes, whole. Not that difficult. Come on, you can do it. You are smart. Do. Read. I admire. Rabindranath Tagore. Ma'am. Tell, tell. Okay, Rabindranath, tell me. In Hindi, we say that also. Tell. Ma'am. Very easy word it is. Why? Agar itna hard word, tumara naam hota to. How? Tum kya bolte sir? Mujhe chinki bolao bas. Hmm? He is a very famous person. You have. To learn his name, you know. Anyone can ask you any time. So read the sentence. Read the sentence. Interjection निकालना है उसमें से. I admire Rabindranath. Rabindranath Tagore. Rabindranath Tagore because he wrote great poem like. Poem like Gitanjali. Right. So which word is joining here? I admire Rabindranath Tagore because, right? Because, because is joining the two sentences, right? Yes, ma'am, it's joining. Okay, so I uh, underline because. Because. Next sentence. Always brush your teeth after a meal. After a meal, okay. Which word is joining two sentences or two words? Your brush. See two com. See there are two complete sentences and one word is joining it. So, as a word, as a sentence, will be there. What is the sentence? Repeat. Brush your teeth. Brush your teeth is the correct sentence, or brush your teeth after is the correct sentence. Brush your teeth. Brush your teeth is the correct sentence, because after will be the incomplete sentence, na? Brush your teeth after, but after kya ge? Kuch we have to write, right? We have to write something after the word after. So brush your teeth is a one sentence, and what is the next sentence? After, after a meal. After a meal, what to do? So cancel after a meal will be a sentence. A meal, a meal can be a word also. So which word is joining here? After. Which word is joining the two sentences? After, right? After. after. So underline after. after. After will be the conjunction. Conjunction. Okay. Next word. Next sentence. Do. Do. It's called do. T H O U G S do all do. Rani is this. Do Rani. Mm hmm. Is this yet? He he is active. He is active. Do Rani ko yaha pe hi hai. So is there any mistake here? Rani. Yeah, Rani is a girl, right? Yes, ma'am. But in the screen it was written. It was written, not written. What? Written. written. Though Rani is active, what is the sentence? Read. Though Rani is um, is this active? He is. Yes, he is active. It might can also be like this. Is Rani? Or is this? Abhi, you know, if I suppose you have a brother. You are a brother, and you are very shy. Suppose you are not active. 
you are shy so like your mom can also say this do radhika is this mean she is shy do radhika is this yet he is active so maybe there are two genders over here right there can be two genders also rani is a female and yet he he is means the the mom is talking about the boy right यू About my brothers and sister, about my brother and a sister. So what will I say? Though Rani is lazy, yet my brother is active. So in shortcut, what can I say? What will I say? Though Rani is this, yet he is active. So there are two genders present here. We are not talk talking about Rani in the sentence. We are talking about the guy or the male who is present. So which word is joining the two sentences? Yet, right? Yet. हाँ, underline yet. Yet, underline yet. Okay. Next, uh, next page. Turn your page. Read. Turn your page and read. Interjection. Interjection. And interjection. J E injection. Yeah, there is injection. Yes, ma'am. Injection. You are. You just have to. You know, enter. Ko mar do goli. Just whenever you see the word, just say injection. Injection. Ke aage inter lagana hai bas. Just only remember that. Easiest way to remember that. And what is interjection? What is injection? Exclamation mark. Very simple. Easy to remember. Okay. ओके ओके मैम हां रीड द डेफिनेशन एन इंटरजेक्शन एन इंटरजेक्शन इज अ वर्ड दैट एक्सप्लेन्स अ अ स्ट्रेंज एन इंटरजेक्शन इज अ वर्ड दैट एक्सप्लेन्स Uh, I am repeating after you. Sudden, sudden feeling. A sudden feeling. Very good. Sudden feeling of. Sudden feeling. And an interjection is a word that expresses a sudden feeling. Sudden means achanak. At the moment, at a time. Okay. Read the first sentence. We have won the match. Very easy. What will you underline here? Hooray. Okay. Underline all the five sentences, all the exclamation words. Hello. What? Done, ma'am. Okay, read the read the sentence and also tell which word you underlined from the beginning. Hooray! We have won the match. Hooray is the hooray. Interjection. I have underlined hooray, ma'am. Okay. No, you will tell me after every word. Hooray is the interjection. Then only you will understand. Huh? Hmm. Chalo. Next sentence. आलस ना इंटरजेक्शन यार आलस मींस नो डजंट मीन आलस मींस लेजी हां इन इंग्लिश आलस मींस व्हाट यू नो इन इन ग्रीफ इन सिंपैथी ओके रीड आलस द ओल्ड मैन डाइड ऑफ हंगर डाइज ऑफ हंगर ओके व्हिच वर्ड यू अंडरलाइन 
Okay, next sentence. Hush. The baby is sleeping. I underline the hush. H. What is interjection? Tell me this word is interjection. Every okay. In the next sentence, tell me what is the interjection like that, okay? Hmm. Continue. Next sentence. Hello is the interjection, ma'am. I read the sentence. Sentence bhulge. Hello, how are you? Address. Hello is interjection. Hello is interjection. Okay. What? So you have we have completed the topic of parts of speech and I know that you know everything. I know that you know but just because you are confused between the words. So I will let's revise and let's do a exercise. Okay now it's a test time and I will see how much you have learned. And you have if you have not learned then I will beat you from here. How can I beat you from here? Like this. Okay. What is okay? How many parts of speech we have learned? Tell me quick fast. I'm counting. Eight. I'm counting. Eight, eight. Very good. Eight. Which are they? Jojo are they fast? Tell me. Fast. Whatever you remember. Tell me. This is your test. Come on. Noun. Noun. Pronoun. Verb. Adverb. Then. What we learn today? Don't see. Don't see. Conjunction. Conjunction. And? Teen back here. Noun. Pronoun. Word. Adverb. Adjective. Interjection. Conjunction. Preposition. We have learned this many. Okay, and these are the important topics in grammar. If your concepts are not clear now, otherwise also you will feel confused every time. Aage ka kuch nahi so you, you have to make sure that your concepts are clear. Now, what is a noun? Noun is a name of a person, place, thing or animal. Okay, give me three examples of it fast. Fast, fast. Okay, I will give you a summary. I will give you a summary in five minutes and then I will ask you questions you have to answer me. Okay? Is it okay? Yes, ma'am, it's okay. Okay, what is a noun? A noun is the name of a person, place, animal or thing. Person, Ritika. Place, Aurangabad. Animal, cat. Thing, table or emotion also. Emotion means sad, happy. Okay, next, what is a verb? Verb means action word. Verb means? A verb is an action. A verb is a word that shows action. Simple. Verb means action word. An action word which shows action. Action word means eating, sleeping, writing, reading, running, going. Okay. Verb means action word. Then what, what we? Pronoun. Pronoun is used to replace a noun. What is a noun? Ritika is going. I can also use she is going. She is reading, he is reading, he is running, he is sleeping. He, she, also they, okay. They are going, they are coming, they, okay. Uh, and there are it, it is also an adjective, uh, sorry, it is also a pronoun. So whatever we use, whichever words we use to replace a uh, noun, they are called as pronoun. Therefore, they are called as pronoun, see. Noun and pronoun, same. Verb and adverb, same word. Okay, because they are interlinked. Interlinked means they are connected. How? Noun ho gaya, pronoun ho gaya, verb ho gaya. Now what? Adjective. Adjective is the... I will slow down. Adjective is a word that is used to qualify a noun. I am a happy girl. Girl is a noun. And how the girl is? Quality of a girl, what is it? Happy. I am happy girl. Happy. So happy will be what? Adjective. I am wearing a grey t-shirt. What is the quality of the t-shirt here? Grey. Okay, I am having pink 
pink hair pink okay pink is not hair but pink okay pink is the okay then my house is beautiful 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 very good so you understand what is adjective now yes, i don't want any uh, you under you are understanding now so i don't want any excuse ma'am repeat karo you know what are they okay adjective then after adjective what is verb we uh, verb it is said verb means action word uh, and adverb means adverb means that qualifies a verb i am eating slowly i am eating slowly which is the verb here eating 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 and which word is qualifying the word slowly slowly so slowly kya hoga adverb kya hoga adverb i am eating slowly she is running fast that is the adverb here running she is running fast running is the what action verb running is the action word which means it is a verb and verb ke aage piche kya hoga adverb hoga if i say my house is beautiful is it having an adjective or an adverb is there any action here no ma'am there need me anything there is no action my house is beautiful then what is there there is a noun right if there is a noun in a sentence then there will be an adjective and if there is a verb in a sentence which means if there is an action word in the sentence then there will be adverb kya hoga adverb adverb very good understood the concept of adverb understood ma'am are you sure um, you must have be sure okay must okay whenever in a sentence if there is a noun and noun ke bare mein jo bhi wo dusra word batta raha hai then they, then it is called as adjective and in a sentence if there is a verb and whatever the quality of a verb it is showing then that word is called as adverb so in a in a sentence your duty is to first see if is there any noun present or verb present then noun or verb ke aage piche kya hai if there is a noun and jo aage piche ka word hai then that word will be called as adjective and if there is a verb then that word is called as adverb are you understanding ritika be attentive yes i am understanding understanding okay very good now adverb then what is remaining preposition a preposition is a word that shows the relationship between a noun and a pronoun or noun and a pronoun means in a sentences if there are two nouns or two pronoun he is coming but she is going so there is he and she these both are pronoun so which word is joining the sentence here he is coming but she is going which word is joining the sentence here he, but he right is coming he, but which word if i am ask but if i am asking word i am not asking the sentence word means just a single word okay he is coming but she is going he is crying but he is sleeping she is coming between the trees she is coming between the road she is crossing the road but the dog came in between but is the but is the word joining the sentence right yes ma'am but is okay yeah. okay and conjunction is a word that joins the sentence jack and jill went up to hill which word is joining and so what is the difference between a preposition and a conjunction both are same lekin preposition mein kya hota hai in a sentence it joins either a noun or a pronoun in a sentence you have to identify is there any noun or a pronoun if there are nouns and they are you know joining i am under the table i is a pre- i is what pronoun under the table table is what noun noun, noun and pronoun ko under joint kar raha hai so under will be the preposition right right and conjunction is a simple word which joins the two sentences very simple then what is interjection interjection means injection interjection means injection injection means exclamation mark exclamation mark means you know exclamatory sentence question. the words which are having exclamation mark not question mark exclamation mark means one like this one line and 
full stop down these are called interjection so what we have uh, learned noun pronoun adjective verb adverb preposition conjunction interjection all it done all it done ma'am understood understood any doubt no ma'am ma i don't have conjunction ready for the exam now yes ma'am okay i am one second now you will tell me you will have to identify the parts of speech now okay i will see now what you have understood read identify question number a identify different parts of speech in the following sentences you have to tell me what is noun pronoun jo bhi hai which type of sentence it is you don't have to tell me the type of sentence you have to say is there any noun here or verb here or interjection here or what is it okay read the first sentence the te the teacher teaches her his students no read it properly the teachers the teacher teaches his student students okay what is tell me what is every word tell me what is it what is is there any noun here teacher and students are noun very good and what is teaches 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 action right a verb very good verb very good and what is his pronoun oh, what is very that? good okay next sentence cat runs after rat rat what is okay what are noun noun is a cat and rats very good what type what is a is there any verb here run is, run is a verb okay and then what is after after is the adverb no after is not an adverb after is joining the two sentences then what is adverb adverb is not there this after is not an adverb what is the function of after here it is joining the two sentences right yes i am joining okay okay there are two nouns and which is the part of speech that joins two nouns what is it called very easy very easy just now i told you the similarities between a conjunction and a preposition what is it preposition preposition it is na cats run after rats i told you na cats cats is a noun rats is also a noun and after is joining the two words right so what will be after preposition not conjunction preposition kya hoga repeat preposition repeat ritika repeat after is a preposition repeat after is a preposition okay next sentence john is an honest man what okay is there any noun ma'am jo read the whole sentence and tell me is there any noun john is an honest man john is a noun and what about man man is also a noun okay what is 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 a verb is okay is is also always in, included in verb okay and what is honest here okay what is the uh, is there any noun in front or at the back of honest yes ma'am man is man is okay so what what is showing uh, what it is showing honest man means what it is quality right it will be a quality 
क्वालिटी ऑफ अ नाउन देन व्हाट इज कॉल्ड अ क्वालिटी ऑफ अ नाउन व्हाट दैट वर्ड इज कॉल्ड रिमेंबर फास्ट रीड इन द बुक एंड टेल मी व्हाट इट इज चेक योर बुक एंड टेल मी What do you think honest is? What is showing? It is showing the quality of a noun. Then what is the word call which shows the quality of a noun? Okay. Quality of a noun means what? What is what it is called? Which part of speech it is? John is an honest man. Honest means is it is a quality, right? Yes, it's a quality. What is it? Tell me fast. We have learned it, right? Yes. Tell me. Look the definitions and tell me. Adjective, right? adjective john ah uh, very good quality of a noun means adjective quality of a verb means adverb ah uh, in a sentence you have to spot if there any noun and uski quality hai to what will it be adjective and agar koi verb hai sentence mein and it is showing the quality of the verb then it is called as adverb got it yes understood hmm next sentence read i send a little sent sent i sent a letter mom. to my mom mom mother mother, mother not mom okay mother is the noun what is is there any noun mother ha ah, and what is i what is i i is replacing a noun what is i pronoun right okay work is there any work yes ma'am what it is send okay very good then letter is also a noun na letter is a thing so it's a noun very good i sent a letter to my what is to here what is the function of to it is joining to sentences right Conjunction. Conjunction. And it 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 is 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 can can also also be be a a a preposition, right? Yes, can be also, but why? No, can't be. Letter is a noun and mother Ma'am, yes, it can be. So, are you understand? And my is what is my? My is a pronoun, right? M Y. Like I will say, I am going. My mother. My is also a pronoun, right? Yes or no? Yes. Yes or no? Tell me. Yes. yes okay. Next line, read. Amisha. Amisha is a pretty girl. Oh. What is Amisha here? Is a person noun. Ah, uh, and what is is? Is is a pronoun. Is 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 a verb. What? is is a verb always whenever if i ask you what is is you have to just say verb okay am i clear no, ma'am can you explain it again jahan par bhi sentence mein is a is is included in verb okay action word mein is aata hai hamesha okay ओके ऋतिका अमीशा इज अ प्रिटी गर्ल एनी मोर नाउन्स यस मैम गर्ल ओके 
गर्ल की क्वालिटी क्या है प्रिटी वॉट विल बी प्रिटी देन डोंट गेट पॉज डोंट गेट पॉज रिदिका आई एम आस्किंग यू जस्ट नाउ वी हैव जस्ट नाउ आई गेव यू द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ जॉन इज एन ऑनेस्ट मैन showing the quality of a noun which word shows the quality of a noun what it is called adjective adjective okay next time if i ask you you must answer immediately okay okay mama i'll answer it quickly ha ah, good read the next line i will take some milk for breakfast ha ah, tell me of each word what is i i i is a pronoun okay what is will okay leave it will uh, what is i will is there any verb here breakfast is a breakfast is a word na it if breakfast is not an action word right then it there it will not be a verb is there any action word here no ma'am no ma'am yes or no take. read the sentence again and tell me again i will take so what is a uh, action word here uh, take to so, take kya hoga fir it will be a verb very good then um milk for breakfast Some meal for breakfast. Any more nouns here? Ma'am, no. Milk. Milk is a noun. Ah, milk for breakfast. What is breakfast? Yes. It is also a noun, right? Breakfast means food. Food is a noun, right? It's a noun. Okay. What is for your? For is joining two sentences, right? Is it right? I will take some milk for breakfast. For is joining two words. Join. For is joining one word and one sentence. Then what will be called for? Which part of speech is? Fast. Tell me. Na 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 na. Jaldi jaldi. Kya padha humne aaj? See in the book and tell me which part of speech it is. Fast. I will take some milk for breakfast. Is there any noun here? Breakfast is a noun and milk is a noun, right? Conjunction. Conjunction, right? It can also be a conjunction, and it is joining two nouns, right? Milk and breakfast. And जो two nouns को या फिर pronouns को join करता है, then that word is called as preposition. What it is called? preposition and it can also be called as conjunction okay okay ma'am okay so read the sentence and tell me what is uh, preposition here loudly and clearly i will take some milk for breakfast hmm for what is preposition here hmm for is ma'am okay next line bake me a cake as fast as you can what is okay now near cake okay work ma'am bake very good me will me is replacing a noun kya hoga fir me pronoun Pronoun. Okay. 
Bake me a cake as fast as you can. Fast. Fast. क्या होगा? Fast क्या होगा? Bake me a cake as fast as you can. Quality of what? Quality of a noun. What is the quality of a noun? Come on, I am repeating this third time, Ritika. Quality of a noun means what? Adjective, right? Quality of a noun means adjective. Adjective, loud and clearly. Adjective. Adjective. Okay. Read the next question. Take the first answer. Okay. In the seventh sentence, what is you? Pronoun. Very good. Huh. Next. Take the correct answer. How many parts of speech are there in English grammar? How many? Very good. Okay. Then what are pronoun? What is the pronoun? There are four options given. What is the pronoun? Read and tell me what is it. Which is the right answer? A word used in place or noun. All names of a person, place or thing. But a person, place or thing. Um. A word, with a word which modifies a word. Modifies. Okay, what is the definition of pronoun from here? Pronoun matlab kya hai? He, she. What is the pronoun? He, Tell me. He, she, it. Ha, so what does it do? What is the function of it? Which one is right? All names of a person, place or thing. Yes, all names of a person, place, animal or thing. It is a noun. It is the definition of noun, right? Yes, ma'am. It's. Ah, but we have to find the definition of pronoun. So, ये इसमें से pronoun की definition क्या होगी? Tell me first. All of about a person, place, or thing, a thing, a thing. First one, what is it? First one, ma'am. A word used in in place. A word used in place of a noun is called a pronoun, right? Yes, ma'am. It is right or wrong? Right. Hmm. Okay. What is interjection? Interjection, what does it do? Interjection, injection. Injection means exclamation mark, right? Exclamation. Today only we have learned this, right? Yes, so tell me, yeah, what is the definition of interjection from this? The first definition is word which joins words or sentences, a word which shows a sudden feeling or an emotion, a word placed before a noun or a pronoun, or a word used in place of a noun. What is the correct? Which is the correct definition from this? Word which, which joins words or sentence together. No, it is the definition of conjunction. First one is the definition of conjunction, which is the definition of interjection. Read in the book and tell me. Definition of interjection. Read in the book and tell me. A word which shows a strange feelings or an emotion. Sudden feeling. Sudden feeling, right? Yes, ma'am, that one. Ah. Okay. So, 
Ritika, Ritika, Ritika. You understand everything, but whenever I ask you questions regarding what is preposition, what is adjective, adjective, you told me to repeat three times. I repeated three times. There also, you are not able to answer the quality of a noun. Very easy. It's very easy. Don't get stressed, okay? These things, you know, it is hard to remember. I know, but once you remember, na. You remember it for the lifetime, okay? You remember it in the lifetime. So just you know, take, uh, concentrate, and just you know, learn. Try to learn these words. But uh, as far we go, these words, you know, I will ask you what is a verb, what is an adjective. All concepts must be learned, okay? Okay. Okay. Okay, ma'am. Okay, Ritika. Okay, ma'am. You last. Okay. Any doubt you have? Do you have any doubt? Tell me. Ma'am. Any doubt? कुछ भी नहीं जो कुछ भी नहीं समझा तुम्हें बताओ. Today is the doubt session. Next time I'm not going to repeat parts of speech. So I will ask you from tomorrow. What is this? What is this? What is this? You have to tell me. I will be very strict from now. Huh. The eighth one. Interjection. Yes, ma'am. Interjection. Interjection means exclamation mark. Interjection. जब भी interjection नाम आता है ना. See, I will tell you tricks to remember. Noun is very easy. Noun के साथ क्या link होता है? Adjective. क्या link होता है? Adjective. See, adjective से भी uh, नाउन के साथ टू वर्ड लिंक होते हैं सिर्फ नाउन नाउन के साथ क्या लिंक होता है प्रोनाउन नाउन जो नाउन को रिप्लेस करता है वो क्या व्हाट वी कॉल इट प्रोनाउन द वर्ड व्हिच रिप्लेसेस नाउन इट इज कॉल्ड एज प्रोनाउन ओके सी द वर्ड व्हिच रिप्लेसेस नाउन प्रोनाउन एंड द वर्ड व्हिच शोस द क्वालिटी ऑफ नाउन एडजेक्टिव वेरी इजी टू रिमेंबर टेल मी द वर्ड द वर्ड व्हिच रिप्लेसेस नाउन इज कॉल्ड प्रोनाउन and the word which shows the quality of noun noun adjective adjective tell me okay come on let's do this exercise the word which uh, replaces noun is called the word which shows the quality of noun adjective 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 repeat repeat adjective okay once again the word which replaces noun is called pronoun the word which shows the quality of noun Okay, fine. Once again, the word which shows the quality of a noun. Pronoun. Adjective. Quality. मेरे words पे ध्यान दो. The word which shows the quality of a noun. Adjective. The word which replaces a noun. Pronoun. Pronoun. The word which replaces a noun. Pronoun. Pronoun. The word which shows the quality of a noun. Adjective. एडजेक्टिव ओके यू हैव टू रिमेम्बर नाउन नाउन दिमाग में रखना है नाउन द वर्ड विच शोज द क्वालिटी ऑफ अ नाउन एडजेक्टिव द वर्ड विच रिप्लेस इज अ नाउन प्रो नाउन सेम एज एड सेम ऑफ वर्ब यू हैव टू डू वर्क द वर्ड विच शोज द क्वालिटी ऑफ अ वर्क एड वर्क द वर्ड विच शोज द क्वालिटी ऑफ अ वर्क एड वर्क द वर्ड विच शोज द क्वालिटी ऑफ अ वर्क एड वर्क understood i will ask you again though yeah i am going to tell you that only i am telling you tricks okay once more let's do it the word which shows the quality of a noun pronoun quality of a noun quality of a noun adjective you are right the word which shows the quality of a noun pronoun the word which shows the quality of a noun adjective the word we The word which replaces a noun, adjective. pronoun. See, um, quality adjective. इतना याद रखना है quality adjective replace मतलब replace मतलब him he he replace मतलब him she याद करना हमेशा replace का word आएगा ना him she याद करना बस replace जहाँ पर भी बोलूँ क्या होगा pronoun होगा and quality जहाँ पर भी होगा adjective होगा. Okay, the word which replaces a noun. Very good. The word which shows the quality of a noun. 
the word which replaces a verb sorry the word the word which shows the quality of a verb adverb verb ki quality adverb hai understood no ma'am you have to remember no okay next is uh, you will read it today itself tomorrow i am going to take your one more test because if your concepts are not clear now then how will it be clear afterwards next is what we finish noun verb adverb adjective then what we fin uh, interjection interjection means exclamation mark interjection means injection interjection is not difficult word interjection means exclamation mark इंटरजेक्शन का मतलब क्या होता है वाव हमेशा इंटरजेक्शन जब भी आया दिमाग में इधर आ समझना चाहिए वाव और वाव को क्या होता है एक्सक्लेमेशन मार्क तो इन एनी सेंटेंस यू हैव द एनी एक्सक्लेमेशन वर्ड देन दैट वर्ड इज कॉल्ड एज इंटरजेक्शन ओके वाव व्हाट अ ब्यूटीफुल ड्रेस व्हाट इज इंटरजेक्शन हियर वाव हेलो हाउ आर यू हेलो वेरी गुड सो यू अंडरस्टूड इंटरजेक्शन अंडरस्टूड मैम Uh, okay now preposition preposition or conjunction first i will tell you conjunction what is conjunction jack and jill went up to hill jack and jill and is joining the two words so and will be the conjunction went up to hill went is also joining the two up to hill and jack and jill so went will also be conjunction conjunction matlab do words join karta hai i am going to school two is what conjunction she is in the car in kya hoga conjunction what is preposition here if if there is a question what is a preposition if there is a question what uh, what is a preposition then dekhna hai ki sentence mein noun hai ya pronoun hai aur agar dono hai to which word is joining it tree is okay i am under the table oh, okay i am climbing the tree i am climbing climbing will be verb here okay I am go. Uh, I am below the sea. I am below the sea. I is a pronoun. Sea is a noun. Which word is joining the two sentences below? I am below the sea. Below will be the preposition. क्या होगा? Preposition. Preposition can also be a conjunction. Okay. Preposition can also be a conjunction. पर कंज पर conjunction preposition नहीं होगा. Okay. ओके ओके मैम ओके योर होमवर्क इज टू रिवाइज एवरीथिंग आई विल आस्क यू टुमारो ओके सी दीज आर द बेसिक्स एंड वी हैव कंप्लीटेड द पोर्शन सो इट इज योर ड्यूटी टू रिवाइज इट ओके द वर्ड्स आर हार्ड आई नो दैट यू आर स्मार्ट यू नो इट बट द वर्ड्स आर हार्ड यू जस्ट हैव टू लर्न इट बस याद करना है नाउन बोले तो एनीथिंग वॉट इज वर्ब एक्शन वर्ड एक्शन वर्ड की एक सेंटेंस सी एनी सेंटेंस आई एम ईटिंग आई एम ईटिंग फूड she is eating fastly what will i say she is eating slowly she is eating the food slowly what is verb here eating eating ki how is she eating slowly to verb ki quality bata raha hai na wo to verb ke aage kya hoga fir स्लोली क्या होगा फिर एडवर्ब क्यों एडवर्ब है क्योंकि ईटिंग वर्ब है इसलिए स्लोली एडवर्ब है ओके
अगर एक सेंटेंस में कोई भी एक्शन वर्ड है एंड उसकी अगर क्वालिटी बता रहा है कोई वर्ड तो उसको बोलते हैं एडवर्ब ओके आई एम आई क्लियर नाउ ओके सो योर होमवर्क इज टू रिवाइज एवरीथिंग एवरीथिंग एंड ओके डू यू हैव स्कूल टुमारो यस मैम आई हैव स्कूल ओके सो योर होमवर्क इज टू रिवाइज यू हैव टू रिवाइज एवरीथिंग एंड राइट फाइव फाइव सेंटेंसेस ऑफ ईच फाइव ऑफ नाउन फाइव ऑफ प्रोनाउन व्हाटएवर वी लर्नड सो टोटल हाउ मेनी सेंटेंस 40 सेंटेंसेस Eight five are forty. Simple. You have to write five sentences each. Okay. Ma'am, eight. Five sentences each. Five. Five of noun. Five of pronoun. Five of verb. Eight parts of speech. Right? There are eight parts of speech. Right? Yes, ma'am. There are eight pa- parts. So you have to write five sentences and underline what it is. Suppose of noun, you will say. Raj is coming, so you have to underline Raj. Then at the next sentence, you uh, what uh, you will you write of preposition? She is coming, so you have to underline she. So of every part of speech, you have to write five five sentences. Okay? Okay, ma'am. Okay, a lot of homework, right? Never mind. After the homework, from tomorrow we will start another topic. See, if you won't understand, then I won't take your reading. If you won't understand, you need you want to improve your reading, right? Yes or no? Yes, ma'am, I want to improve. Yes. So tomorrow, fir pura session reading ka hoga. If you do the homework properly, then tomorrow's whole one hour will be given to your reading skills. Okay? Okay. Okay. Do the homework and send me photos. Okay, ma'am. I'll send the photos. Okay bye 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 ma'am good night ma'am bye bye